7 Reasons You Have Puffy Eyes and How to Fix Them You Consume Too Much Sodium The sodium and puffy eye connection is simple, sodium causes your body to hold onto fluid, and that includes in the tissues surrounding your eyes as well. Sodium is the main mineral in salt, so salty foods such as chips and cold cuts are major swollen eye culprits. But sodium is also hidden in tons of packaged products, including bread, soup, and frozen meals. People who consume foods containing message can also find themselves dealing with fluid retention. Message is a flavor enhancer added to some products, and though it doesn't have as much sodium as table salt, sodium is a main ingredient of message that can increase water retention and puffiness around the eyes, explains Deborah Lemon, MD, a New York City-based dermatologist, in an email to help. To get rid of the puff, cut back your sodium intake. How much salt is too much? It varies from person to person, says Dr. McLaughlin, but the Centers for Disease Control suggest that most adults stick to less than 2,300 mg of sodium daily. You drink too much alcohol. Excessive alcohol intake causes all kinds of body issues, including bloating all over. So it makes sense that drinking too much contributes to puffy eyes as well. Alcohol can lower an antidiuretic hormone in your body, which causes puffiness, says Dr. McLaughlin. And don't forget this indirect way pounding one too many back can cause swollen eyes. Although alcohol is a depressant, it actually makes it harder to sleep for most of us, making us toss and turn or wake up in the middle of the night and not be able to go back to dreamland. A poor night's sleep can cause fluid retention, leading to inflated eyes. To avoid fluid retention and keep alcohol from setting up that antidiuretic effect, try sticking to no more than one drink per night if you're female, and two if you're male. These are the CDC guidelines for moderate drinking, but if you still notice eye bloat, consider giving up the booze for good and limiting it to special occasions only. Artificial sweeteners are part of your diet. Like regular sugar, artificial sweeteners such as saccharin and aspartame promote inflammation all over the body, including in the eye area. Inflammation happens when your immune system floods your body with white blood cells, a defense mechanism for fighting off foreign organisms such as bacteria or a virus. When your immune system does this often, it can have a spillover effect that leads to joint pain, fatigue, and damage to the blood vessels, Scott Zashin, MD, clinical professor at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center in Dallas, told Health in a previous interview. Artificial sweeteners have also been linked to body bloating, which will have an effect on your eyes as well. Go easy on the diet sodas and other products containing fake sugar substitutes, or give them up completely. You can also try easing the eye puff caused by this fake sugars by consuming more inflammation-fighting foods like berries, tomatoes, and ginger. You're sensitive to fragrance. Allergens like pollen and pet dander aren't the only airborne particles that can cause puffy eyes. Perfumes and scented products can also contribute to puffiness, because a person has an allergy to the fragrance, or they simply have sensitive eyes. When choosing products, try to use products that are fragrance-free, says Dr. Duleman. When you spritz on perfume in particular, aim it away from your face to keep scented particles as far from your eyes as possible. Fragrance sensitivity is nothing new, a March 2017 study published in the journal Preventive Medicine Reports found that exposure to fragrances can lead to a host of negative reactions, like migraines and difficulty breathing. And 14% of people in the study reported having eye issues when they were within smelling distance of certain scents. You're getting older. You eat well, avoid alcohol, and always score healthy 7-8 hours of sleep per night. Yet your under eye area sometimes resembles a tiny pillow. What's going on? Some of us are simply genetically prone to eye puffiness, says Dr. McLaughlin. And this inherited predisposition tends to not show up until later in life, well into your 30s or 40s, though it can strike at younger ages as well. Here's what happens, as you age, 
Fat deposits that typically support the eyes begin to sag, causing a puffing effect, says Dr. McLaughlin. The tissue and muscle surrounding the eyes weaken as well, adding to the swollen appearance. Puffiness caused by genetics and age isn't usually a medical concern. It's reasonable to say you're predisposed to having puffy eyes. I've seen people whose skin hasn't aged a bit, but it can be the other way, too, he adds. That said, there are still things you can do to reduce their appearance and slow the process down, such as not smoking, as the habit dries out skin and reduces collagen, both of which promote saggy bags. Eye creams can keep eye skin firmer for longer if used as a preventative treatment. Retheroplasty, or eyelid surgery, can remove under eye bags, reports the Mayo Clinic. You don't get enough sleep. Most people associate lack of sleep with dark under eye circles. But Dr. Joleman says not scoring enough snooze time can result in puffiness too. Dr. McLaughlin agrees, lack of sleep doesn't cause the bags and puffiness but makes them puffier and more noticeable. Not everyone who skips on sleep will get swollen eyes, but it's a definite consequence for most of us, he says. The solution here is a no-brainer, turn in earlier, so you can get 7-9 hours of sleep each night, and create a bedroom environment that's conducive to catching ZZZs, says Dr. Dilliman. That means not eating or watching too much TV in bed, so your mind associates the bedroom with sleeping only. And no gadget reading in bed either. The blue light from many digital devices is a sneaky culprit that keeps your brain wired. If you don't get enough sleep once in a while, try to resist the urge to try to rub your eyes awake in the AM. This reflexive habit many of us have after a night of tossing and turning pulls the sensitive skin around the eyes and contributes to swelling. Your period is on the way. You know how bloated you feel during your PMS week before your period, and even through those first few heavy flow days? That same waterlogged defect can leave your eyes swollen as well. It has to do with the hormone fluctuations happening at this time, changes in estrogen and progesterone cause fluid retention all through your body, including your peepers. While that time of the month isn't a puffy eye trigger for all women, it can contribute to swelling in some, says Dr. McLaughlin. The good news, when your period nears its end, the swelling should subside, whether it's around your eyes or elsewhere. Until it does, you can reduce the eye puffiness by holding a cold compress to the eyes for a few minutes and drinking lots of water, which helps flush out excess fluid your system is holding on to. Dr. Joleman also suggests looking into eye creams and serums with caffeine, which can reduce the appearance of swelling.